Let's talk about Mira Nereus in my DC Cinematic Universe. Mira was born the youngest of a set of twins to the king and queen of the kingdom of Zebel. Now in the comics, Mira's mother is never given a name. So I am taking the old character known as Queen Bress, and I am simply making her the wife to King Rius. Mira is also second in line for the throne of the kingdom of Zebel, first in line being her one minute older, older twin, Hela. Now in the comics, she's actually a supervillain known as the Siren. As you can see here, she's not particularly nice. But in my DC Cinematic Universe, I have no plans to make her a supervillain for any of my stories. So instead of being evil, she's just going to be conservative like the parents are. As Mira would grow, she would find out that she was incredibly gifted with magic. And so she would attend Zebel's school for sorcery, where she would fly through the ranks. She would graduate early. She would be crowned like the best magic user underneath the seas. And so she becomes the apprentice to the high magister, the high sorcerer of the entire kingdom of Atlantis. And once she gets that apprenticeship, that is where she would meet Arthur. Arthur, being a member of the Atlantean Royal Guard at the time, is assigned specifically to be the guard for the High Magister. So, he is always by her master's side, and that's what gets those two to talking. They fall in love through the course of my first movie, and even get married still in the first movie. And that means she becomes the High Queen of Atlantis when Arthur ascends to the rank of High King. So she is simultaneously the High Queen of Atlantis and the High Magister of Atlantis. She is a badass. And she ends up joining the Justice League alongside Arthur during the events of my second Justice League movie, Justice League Public Enemies, and she gets the name Aqua Woman. And during the events of my second Aquaman movie, Mira is actually pregnant, and she gives birth at the end of the movie to their daughter, Andrina Curry. I'm, I'm not doing Arthur Jr. in this universe. They're, I'm sticking with Andrina. And that is Mira for my DC Cinematic Universe.